Hi guys, just a quick overview uh, of today's video. So we'll be looking at the slenderness reduction factor, alpha S, and also buckling moment MO. And I'll be doing a combined example that brings in all the stuff that we've learned on alpha M and also alpha S. And that uh, that's the calculation of phi MBX. Uh, so that's member buckling capacity. So the first thing we have here is the slenderness reduction factor. So alpha S equals 0 0.6 um, and MS over MOA, um, that's squared and plus three. So I've circled these in blue because these are two critical things. Um, basically, a lot of people forget to times the whole value by 0 0.6. And it's important to consider that this plus three right here is within this uh, square root. So it's, it's a common forgotten, uh, commonly forgotten thing. And I uh, just don't want you guys to make that mistake in your exams. Uh, so that's from AS4100, 5.6.1.2. Uh, it should be relatively small, this value here. Uh, I would double check if it's large, and especially if it's greater than one, uh, that would sort of uh, raise a few eyebrows. Uh, one of the things you want to understand with alpha S is that it considers the residual stresses and imperfections, and that's how it's sort of reducing that uh, phi MSX value. Now, something I want to touch on is the, the moment calculation itself. So I've got it written up here. Um, some of the things you want to sort of understand and appreciate are uh, that it's from AS4100, 5.6.1.3. Uh, sorry, 1.1, 1. 1, bracket 3. Um.